Welcome back, everybody, to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Things have been getting crazy already, and I'm ready to just jump back into it, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, in the last one, there was tons of background from that was missing from the first game that was kind of explained. Um, Sephiroth used to be a cool guy. Uh, kind of been chasing this thing about his mom found out his mom was an ancient found out he's probably not even human that he's a little bit more than that and now he's gone mad with with it seems like power um <clears throat> Shimra is the common enemy of course Shinra is just uh corporate greed lots of the same you know types of uh things that they they hold in the like from Final Fantasy 16 uh, like kind of a corporate greed just just swallowing up all of the earth's resources for the benefit of mankind and there is one uh, being that is hell bent on ruling everyone else because they're originally the controllers of or you know just kind of in the same vein and uh, it's it's really cool actually to see even though it's like got some of the same things it's kind of it's kind of cool to see it being retold in a in a different style with different characters and just like the details are different and stuff um, I like it and uh, again I apologize for my voice I'm sure I'm still very nasally I'm jumping right back into it from my last recording and uh, so if anything, my voice might have even gotten worse. I can I can already feel my throat's getting a little tired. This is damn allergies, the damn allergies. And uh, but I'm doing the best that I can. And I would hope that you bear with me because this is fucking. This is where it's at, dude. Why would you Why would you watch anyone else? I'm, I'm, because of what they upload in 4K. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I up I I I upscale my shit to 2K. So I mean, I'm I'm like halfway there, a little bit. A anyways, Tifa has come by, knocked on the door. For some reason, Cloud is the only one that heard it. I guess everyone's a little bit more tired than he is, or maybe it's the Mako. I don't know. But he's the only one that heard it. Came out, and she wants to talk to him. I assume it has something to do with his story, because. Tifa just told Aerith he was never there in Nibelheim five years ago. When all that shit that went down with Sephiroth, um, she said he was never there. And she didn't speak up during his story, just let him talk his shit. So how, if he really wasn't there, how does he know all this? Or why doesn't she remember him? But anyways, let's go. No! So, who is she? Or rather... No, wait, what? What is she? <gasps> what? <laughs> okay, 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 hold up, hold up, hold the fucking phone, dude. What the fuck? She died? She died. Okay, okay. Well, that's super fucking interesting. In, in Cloud's memory, she died when she took that blade hit. And, and that's why she doesn't have a scar. Or, I mean, it was pretty high up. So, but I would assume that a scar would be showing to some capacity. Is, man. Tifa better not be fucking dead, dude. She, I know that she has like kind of one-on-one -on -one conversations with cloud every now and then uh, i assume uh well i don't know i don't know we're just gonna we're gonna keep going T tifa Do you think Midgar's over there?
Anyway... There's something I need to ask you, too. Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? Well, Sephiroth in my head keeps telling me so, so... Do you mind explaining? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. She's like, yeah. What about you, yeah. dude? Look. The scar? My scar. Sh that proof enough? Show enough? me them titties. <laughs> He's like, god damn. <laughs> After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. It wasn't just the him, though. Did he There's the doctor who operated on me ladder. all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years. Please explain these, these fucking you know I can't visions. Tell you that. Why? Of course you can't. Now I'm pissed at Cloud. Sorry, I just need some space. Well, fucking... If you're not gonna tell her, you better tell somebody. Because that's like the one... I, that's one of the few pieces that I have left that I need... ...to understand. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. These transitions from cutscene to, uh, to gameplay are fucking insane. It's definitely going into a more curated cutscene, but then, like, the transition is so smooth back into gameplay, you can't even fucking tell. Like, that is, that is fucking quality right there. You two fight. No. <laughs> We have enough problems as it is. Copy? See, Barrett Night. seems like a real human being now. Tomorrow is another day. He's not fucking screaming every ten seconds, fucking like, Hey! We got enough problems as it is! Copy? Like... <laughs> that's how he... He would have just aimed his gun in Cloud's face and said that shit in the first game. And now he seems like... What the fuck? Where's the sword? Where is everybody? Oh, okay. The sword's there. It's alright, they're probably just getting breakfast. The fuck? What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Starter deck? Oh, they... They fucking came up with a goddamn card game. Uh... Find other players, okay. Dude. In The Witcher? Playing fucking... Learn how to play Queen's Blood. <sighs> Alright. Um, 
Uh, yeah, I'll, whether or not I decide to keep the tutorial in the video is yet to be seen, but I do kind of want to know at least to see if it's going to be fun or not. And The Witcher 3, when it came to fucking playing Gwent, dude, I actually did really well. So, if they do it right with this, maybe I'll play it too. Got fucking toasted, dude. Alright, well... I think that could be fairly fun. Uh... I guess when we see somebody, we'll... We'll try and beat them. Alright. Now to find everyone else. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented This is the same caused by a massive tornado news piece. Sector zero, one, Good morning, two. sir. After a briefing with I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, to be, quote, the owner of this inn. Warfare. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't huh. waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice. All right. So, adjust your party's gear. Perhaps yep, got a trip it. to the arms dealer is in order? Good it idea. sounds like it is. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Huh? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. I'm sorry, what the fuck is a folio? Is there somebody outside the inn that wants to play? Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? Uh... You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. Was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Hey, look at that. Red 13. Oh, uh, if you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Your sure equipment? Thing. Like your collar? Hm, the rook's got a backbone. Well, yeah, he's a skinny dude. You can fucking see it right there. Overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds. Huh. Thereby increasing your party level. The higher the level, the more skills and abilities will be available in your folios. But it doesn't change the ending, so who knows how much it'll happen. I want to play, but what if I lose? That's the whole point, buddy. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> don't scare me like that! You... Want to play Queen's Blood, do you? I was hoping that. Oh, what am I thinking? You look like you'd murder me. Oh God, this is too much. I think I'm gonna throw up. Don't <laughs> give me that look. It's perfectly healthy for adults to cry too, you know. <laughs> oh, people call me Crybaby Dad because the more tears I shed, the better I get in Queen's Blood. <laughs> Please play around with me! <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Crybaby Ned, you and I are one and the same. Alright, so this is my deck, 15 out of 15. I don't have... Oh, you can make different presets of decks. Well, that's a little too in-depth for me. I'll just take some good cards. Thank you. Uh, begin. All right, cry baby Ned. Prepare to fucking cry some more. If you don't like some or any of the cards you've drawn, you can put them back. Uh... 
Okay, select the cards you wish to mulligan. This one? And... That should be it. Okay. Uh, let's do... We'll go there. Okay. And then I'm gonna put you here. That's actually really good, I think. Well, that's a little confusing. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Uh... Okay, I think I won, but just barely, though. Yeah. Alright. I do definitely feel like I'm getting a feel for it. The more, like, there was a couple different uh, cards that I played, I feel... I might have fucked up, but raise the power of the ally card unaffected. All right, very cool. Thank you. Oh God, I lost. But uh, I feel a lot better after having a good cry. There's nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. Speaking of, you look like you've got a lot weighing you down too. It's written all over your face. Trust me, crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. Dude, if Cloud starts crying, I might actually start crying, so... Let's... Let's not bring out the tears just yet. A little birdie told me you can't get enough of that card game, Queen's Blood. Ooh, well, it seems like it so did. far. I'd say we got ourselves a contender. So how about it, pretty boy? You wanna throw down? But first, let me introduce you to Nene, Master Ventriloquist. Now, she ain't much of a talker, but give her a deck of cards, and she'll wipe the floor with you so fast, it'll make your head spin. Ready to get your ass handed to you? Well, are ya? Yes. Fucking lost, I fucked up. Alright, let me try again. There we go. Got that new new. Ooh, this guy packs one hell of a punch. But hey, you can't win them all. Besides, what really matters is you were brave enough to take on a bona fide card shark like Pretty Boy here. Sometimes you gotta take the L if you're serious about upping your game. Listen, kid, you got what it takes to be a champ. I'd bet my bottom gill on it. Now why don't you show Blondie your appreciation for being such a good sport? Thank you for playing cards with me, mister. <laughs> okay, that sounds like the beginning of some split personality disorder. Uh, the switch up was just a little too... too soon. Yep. Sure thing, son. Alright, the bookstore. Armed and dangerous. The main scenario. How the fuck do I get over there? There we go. How much is welcome? Damn. 
That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Uh, it's Buster. Plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. See? what I tell you? That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. Yeah, that's what I came in here for. Ooh, Sleek Saber. That's like a, that's a Final Fantasy 16 looking sword. I don't know, man. Fucking Buster Sword is kind of growing on me a little bit. Uh, we've only got 2,000 gil. I might just hold on to my stuff for now. Do I have anything to sell? Uh, not really. A cushion? Allows you to use broken down rest stops. <laughs> okay. You take care of that weapon now. Alright. Oh, Avalanche. Uh huh. Finally decided oh. to get up. Uh, yeah. hey. So, what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Really? Sure. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Well, well, well. Cloud's actions affect his relationships with his allies, and the strength of these bonds can alter portions of the story. Ooh, uh, press L1 to view a comrade's feelings towards Cloud, as indicated by symbols such as the green smiley face or the blue really happy smiley face. Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, looks like there is a little bit more team building in this. I think I could get down with this game. Hey there! Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Spend skill points. Uh, okay, augment party's portfolios. I guess begin the tutorial. Orange skill cores can be unlocked by spending SP. Firework blade. Oh, those are dope. What the fuck? Can I master the firework blade? Adjacent cores become available. Increasing the party level creates more skill cores. Character will earn SP when they level up. Or when they acquire manuscripts. Skill cores can be reset at any time and SP spent will be returned. Wow, okay. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. I fucking bet. All right, uh... Oh, there's somebody else that wants to play Queen's Blood, huh? <laughs> what uh, a glorious uh, world. Keeping us safe and secure. I could gaze at it all day. Is that right? Is that right? Sorry about that, I was, uh... I can someday become as strong as our Bailey here. As what? Excuse me. That was my barricade you just destroyed. Oh, <laughs> come to admire the Bailey? It is something. Or maybe you're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. <laughs> I'm Zahir. The latter. Or the former. Just like I don't know Wong, how to use those correctly. No one. Refusing to give a single inch to my opponents. Don't presume you'll emerge unscathed if you decide to go up against me. Because you will wind up with more than just a few bruises. Alright, crazy person. It seems like everybody that fucking plays this game is crazy and out of their minds. Let's go. Uh, I think... 
this one. to play? What the fuck was that? Oh! Eat dicks, bro. Try again. Holy shit, if it's a draw, then what happens? it? It's just as bad as losing. Alright, I think we did it. Oh, okay. Fuck yeah. The Screamer. Let's go. Possible. How could someone break through my perfect defense? Who are you? Deep down, I always knew. I knew I couldn't stay holed up in here forever. Walls can keep people safe, but even the sturdiest ones eventually crumble. Right. Starting today, you will be my new wall, as it were, and I am going to enjoy watching you crumble. Uh, okay, for a second I was gonna say maybe we're curing these people of their crazy, and then she started saying crazy shit. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a soldier. Can we talk to Tifa right now? Uh, morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? The water tower? Yeah. Place I made that promise to you. Yeah. Place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, yes, it was blue. The light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. This is okay. a quiet, peaceful town. My washing machine's getting Did it change for the better? It said it changed. I hope it changed for the better. God damn it. Very interesting. So there. I don't think that they're all the same, like, in games like Mass Effect, you'll have, like, the up one is for, like, Paragon, the bottom one's Renegade, aka good and bad, and then, like, more detail Cloud, would be on the other side. Over here. So, with that, it seems like, in order to advance your relationship with people, it's kind of randomized. So far. Let's get started, There's only been two interactions, but... Uh, View from the top. I think Midgar's this way. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? 
isn't it? How small it looks? It is far away. I, I was actually wondering, and I guess it makes so, sense, we're not in did Midgar anymore. something happen between you and Tifa? Uh, uh, Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. Uh, did she say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. What the fuck? Is the main scenario progressing? And we chose to go up here with Aerith, so... Very interesting. Just... I do kind of like that. It makes sense. Me and Tifa just had a fight. We're not going to be hanging out with each other right afterwards. Dainty, Dainty, you know the drill. Fly these terrors. <laughs> <laughs> I did see a third exclamation point somewhere in the middle that it was like advancing the main scenario. So that's really that's I fuck with that heavy. For us, aren't they? Gotta be. Alright, come on. What the fuck? They just put this in here for people to use? So many people. Get out of here. Wait, wait. I know I saw some people who had a fugitive air about them. I could remember their faces. I know it's someone else. Stop wasting our time. All right. Well, now we're back to this kind of stuff. All right. Just a little bit further. Oh, if I hold R2, it actually does make me go a little bit faster. Glad I found that out on the last plank. That went well. The end's not much further. Let's stay on your toes.
Where are they? Down below, waiting for you. The tunnel in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Who the fuck are you, dude? Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also, take this. It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more Who use. Who are of you, bro? Me. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Well, thanks, bro. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna need the transmutation tutorial. This shit's new. Uh, you can now transmute items in armor. Okay. Currently transmutable items are listed here. Materials necessary for the selected item. Transmuting an item for the first time grants EXP. Increases craftsmanship. Transmute a potion. Okay, very cool. Materials can be found out in the field or in chests and gained through combat. There are also items that can only be obtained via transmutation. Okay. Very interesting. I guess we're gonna have to use it. All right, man. Well, or should I say, bro? We'll see you later, hopefully. He said that we're going to his friends that owns a farm. You made it, all in one piece. There's a specific somebody I've been waiting to meet. Sorry, we're late. And I sure do Follow hope that it's up. that person. Where the hell have you two been? On a date, kind of. Uh, what? Uh, uh, well, that was the last uh, one. At least till things calm down. <laughs> Can you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Now, let's move. <laughs> Baron's got to be the fucking dad of the group. I'm having fun. Who the fuck? Who the fuck turned this game into a into a good time, huh? Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. Still miss the steel sky oh, there, Aerith? Breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. 
The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, your left, your left, right. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. And there it was! The first step on our new journey! You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Adjust your battle party from the combat settings. All right. Uh, open the map and get your bearings. All right. Now head to the farm Broden spoke of as marked by the star. Co-conspirator. All right. Honestly, that seems kind of like a perfect place to end it. I know not a whole, obviously not a whole lot went on since, you know, everything that happened in the first episode, but this is kind of like a supplemental one. It seems like a great place to, to just kind of cut it there and we'll see what happens next time. Um, but Jesus Christ, I'm already having such a good time playing this game. I'm actually like, I, I, I do want to keep playing, but it's currently two o'clock in the morning and I have to edit this footage and get it up so that whoever's listening to me talk right now can watch it uh, as soon as possible. But yeah, I just, fuck, I'm having so much fun actually with this one. This is, this is a lot more my speed. So, uh, if you made it to this part of the video, you might as well subscribe because, you know, why the hell not? And, uh... If you wouldn't mind leaving a like on your way out the door, it'd be pretty dope. It'd be cool if you comment down, tell me what you what you think of it. Uh, have you ever played the original Final Fantasy? Is 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 it about to get crazy? Is it gonna get weird? What's going on? Don't no spoilers though. Um, but uh, I hope you stick around. And if that's your plan, you know. Come hang out with me. I, I promise my allergies are gonna get better. I'm sorry if it's been annoying these first, you know, however many hours of footage, but if you plan on sticking around, I hope you see me in the next one. Thanks again. <laughs>